What's up my butterfly beauties? It's your girl Jazzy Leno and I'm back with another video. In this video we're going to talk about dating in 2019 and then we're going to touch base on dating in 2019 as an entrepreneur. So if you want to know and join this discussion, keep on watching. So in 2019, the dating scene. We're going to see what's up with 2019 and the dating scene. So the first thing we want to dive into is the definition of dating versus exclusively dating. So dating is, you know, you can date multiple guys or multiple girls, you know, get to know people, you know, just on the sea, on the, on the sea level. Not nothing too, we're not getting deep. We're just seeing how you are and what you like. You know, sometimes might be your family background, things like that. We're not getting too deep into, you know, your trauma, what you've been through, and things like that. This is just, you know, a good time. Okay, so a good time, not a long time. Then we move over to exclusively dating, and that is the steps you'll take into being in a committed relationship. Um, in 2019, everybody wants to skip the dating. They just want to skip the dating and they want to go from talking to exclusively dating and it doesn't work like that. Um, it doesn't work like that for one because you haven't explored your options. You just, you know, talking to this one person, okay, we finna exclusively date. You don't know anything about them. You haven't got to know them. You haven't did any of that. You're just jumping onto a relationship. So this generation, us as millennials, myself included, used to do this. Go from, you know, talking and texting to, okay, we finna exclusively date. We finna go on dates. No, it doesn't work like that, period. You're going to take me out on dates. We're going to hang out, you know. You're going to ask about me. You're going to treat me nice. And then you might be considered as that exclusively dating role. But you're not just finna, you know, we finna talk and text. And then we finna go into, oh, we in a relationship. And then we start going on dates? I don't think so. Um, then the second thing, everybody needs to start making things clear. That's the problem with our generation. Everybody just assumes too much. And, uh, us as millennials, we make too many assumptions and then we don't ask the necessary questions and then we get upset. So avoid yourself getting upset. Avoid yourself getting your feelings hurt. Avoid yourself getting all tied into somebody and who they are and who they could be and all that, all those types of things. We need to ask the necessary questions to get the answers that we want or that we don't want. So when dating someone. Everything doesn't have to be, oh, I'm going to play this by ear. I'm going to see where this goes. You can maneuver or you can say what you want and what you don't want. Like for instance, talk about this in the first two you know, months of dating, but you could if you wanted to. So you ask, you're talking to a guy or a girl, whatever you're interested in, and you're saying, what are your views on marriage? And they will respond with, oh, I don't ever want to get married. I don't see myself getting married until I'm like 45. And that's happened to me. A guy told me he didn't want to get married until he was like 35, 40, and he was just trying to live his life. So right then and there, I should have said, wait a minute, maybe I need to exit. Because what I found myself doing was trying to convince him of all the things that would be great about marriage. And you can't convince somebody to do something after their mind is already made up. Especially men, and especially when it comes to relationships, marriage, dating, things of that sort. So with that being said, my butterfly beauties, we need to communicate with people and let them know, you know, this is what I'm looking forward to. This is what I want. Now, this is when you're exclusively dating. This is not just when, you know, you're just talking to someone. Or it might be, if you're that person that wants to be that, you know, upfront or whatever, I say do your thing. But yeah, we need to make it clear what we want. Don't try to change anybody that already is telling you okay i don't want to exclusively date you i don't never want a relationship because that's where we get our feelings involved and that's where things become tricky and they become a difficult and they become uncomfortable and then it just leaves room for too much bullcrap to come in first determine if you're dating or exclusively dating two never make assumptions be clear and three do not settle now y'all I, I was a settler like I was a settler and it would frustrate me because I would be like damn like why is this person not on the same level as me or higher don't be afraid date someone that's on the same level as you or date higher you're never dating lower than yourself so some of us will do that as women because we feel like that we can change people my mom has told me my elders have told me even my friends have told me you cannot change anyone you have to let somebody come to you and they have to realize within themselves that they want to change for the better um, do not settle don't think um, you being loyal to somebody is allowing them to hurt you mentally physically or emotionally because that's not it um, don't think you being loyal is having somebody cheat 
cheat on you, don't let dudes tell you, oh, you supposed to stay down with me. I'm not staying down with you. I'm trying to come up. You don't, I don't need to stay down with you. That's your problem. You want somebody to stay down with you. I'm trying to come up. I'm trying to level up. I'm trying to boss up. I'm trying to do all these things that you just don't want to do. So we cannot be together. We can't even talk. I don't even want to associate myself with you. I don't even want to be friends with you because not only do you think so lowly of yourself, I'm pretty sure you think low of me from being with you because you already know how you are. In this generation, people have been so caught up in this loyalty that it's really detrimental to our being and who we are because people are like, oh, you need to be loyal to me. How am I going to be loyal to you when you don't have nothing for me to be loyal to? I can't be loyal to lies. I can't be loyal to mental abuse. I can't be loyal to physical abuse. Damn sure can't be loyal to physical abuse. I can't be loyal to somebody who doesn't care about my feelings. I can't be loyal to somebody that thinks every time I want to address something that I'm trying to argue. So yeah, don't settle for anyone that's not able to realize your worth. And you need to realize that worth yourself first. A lot of girls, a lot of women, they just want to be in a relationship so bad that they're willing to tolerate all those different types of abuse, different type of hurt, and it's just not worth it. That's why I say your single season is really important. Yeah, in your single season, y'all, you can do dating and stuff, but your actual single season where you're not entertaining anyone but yourself, your craft, your business, your life's purpose, things like that. That's really where you figure out, you know, what you will and will not tolerate. Because that single season is an eye-opener. My single season was for about six months after a traumatic... I'm saying traumatic, but... Traumatic breakup. Um, your single season is that time. Or it doesn't even have to be after a traumatic breakup. It's just whenever you wake up and you realize, okay, let me be single for a while. Do some soul searching. Boss up. Secure my bag. Get cute start going to the gym, doing all these things that, you know, and make yourself feel, look, act better than you were. Let me start realizing what my faults were in the relationship. Let me start realizing what I could have done to make things better. And let me start realizing what I did that was overstepping my boundaries of being a girlfriend or, you know, a wife or things like that, which I'm not a wife, so I really can't attest to that because marriage is a whole different thing. So I'm just focusing solely on the dating. But yeah, ladies, don't settle for anything. Give people the benefit of the doubt this is something that I struggle with me and my mom both and most other black single women we struggle with trying to be so independent that we don't let a man lead so if this man is showing you you know that he has the qualities he's able to communicate his feelings he doesn't have a problem addressing situations head on he doesn't have a problem listening to you he doesn't think you always have an attitude or you want to argue because you're bringing up things that you may or may not like He's willing to take all of that in and appreciate you. He understands your worth. Let him lead sometimes. Let this man, you know, do what men are supposed to do. Like court you, lead you. Don't be so caught up in, oh, I can do this myself. Because me and my mom and my friends and a lot of other women that's watching this, a lot of my butterfly beauties, we do this. A guy take us out and we're like, oh, I got it. I got it like and he's trying you know he's trying so he knows that you can do it because he's obviously trying to exclusively date you he sees that you have these qualities these independent qualities okay she got it on her own but i want to help her so don't do that because some men can get discouraged or turned off by that you always you know trying to say oh I, i'll pay for it i got it i got my own way i don't need you and things like that so that that stuff is kind of hurtful to men too so we have to stop doing it as women but i understand that sometimes you do have to let them know like i have this like i got it i'm good <laughs> i'm okay the next thing is dates actually dates dating isn't um, just talking and texting dating is going out on actual dates and the date doesn't have to be you know all spectacular and everything but dating you should look for someone that wants to take you on dates that wants to actually date you actually and I'm, I'm not even gonna say take you on dates that wants to do things with you if you have somebody and they all they want to do is you know come to your house the first three times of you texting them they like oh i'm trying to pull up you cannot pull up here that's what i'm trying to tell you you cannot pull up here you cannot this is not no pull up spot like i hate that that turns me off and i will block you and i won't talk to you ever again why would you think that you could pull up to my house within the three times of us talking or texting? What is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why do you think? Why Why does that even cross your mind that I would allow you to come to my house? I don't even know you. That's what I tell people. I'm like, I don't know you. Like, what? I don't know you. I don't know you. 
Ladies, stop letting people pull up. This is not the pull up spot. You're not the pull up and the pull out. Yes, I said it. This is not that. Make that very clear that that's not what this is. And if somebody shows you that that's what their goal is with you, this is not the pull up spot. This is not, you know, this is not what we're doing. And now let's go on to the dating as an entrepreneur. So I'm going to make this real short and sweet. Us as entrepreneurs, we already have the mindset of, okay, I got it together. I'm good. This is me. This is she. This is what we're doing. This is what we're going to do. I want you to know what you want to do. This, 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 that. Boom, 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 boom. That's how we do it as entrepreneurs. We're scratching everything off the list. Like, come on, come on, come on. And when dating, we have to be more open. But we will not settle for anything. Upcoming entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, business owners, we're not settling. You cannot get an entrepreneur to settle for anything. Because if they won't settle with their business and what they're going to do, they damn sure not going to settle with you. So you need to come correct. Like Entrepreneurs are really tough because them even being an entrepreneur shows that they're able to decipher what they want and what they don't want, what they allow and what they won't allow what they are willing to do and what they aren't so that can easily be trans transferred or transformed into a relationship so we're, we're pretty tough to date and we also do not like ladies if a man is showing signs that he is jealous of you that he's not supportive let him go let him go because some of these millennial and these modern day men they are the most jealous vindictive people that i've ever met one time this is a um kind of a slick story time a little mini story time this guy he was telling me um, he didn't like my logo and my logo was okay but i don't see it being he was just kind of slick hating and i'm like okay like are you good like you got a little hate you got a little hate in your heart i need you to release that because it's not healthy how much you hate on me and even with my mom, my mom has had people, well, men, try to discourage her, discredit her. And she's a boss. Like, my mom is a boss. Say it again. <laughs> how are you going to tell her anything? Like, how are you going to tell me anything? How are you going to tell my mom anything? How are you going to tell my friends anything? My friends are bosses, nurse boss, school boss, all that. And how are you going to tell us anything? And then you guys, people, like men, just not being supportive. And they always got something negative to say about what you're doing. And you'll run into that. You'll run into the men that, you know, want to support you. And they always posting you. And they always posting your business. And they always recommending you. Then you'll have a man that's always like, oh, you need to be like her. She doing this. Just comparing you. And, you know, trying to turn you down. And you do not need men like that. I say those men don't give them no benefit of the doubt. Just cut them off, block them, that's it, that's done. The last thing I want to touch base on, ladies, we need not to be bitter. I know that nobody wants to talk about this. Everybody's saying that they're not bitter, they just fed up. But we really need to not be bitter. If you're done with somebody, be done. Just don't constantly check up on them. Don't send them texts and say, oh, I didn't mean to text you because you did. Don't call them. Just separate yourself from them and don't be worried about what they're doing now. Who they're doing now. And just wipe your hands with it. Let go. Let God. I just tell you guys to know your worth. Make things clear. Never assume anything that isn't said. Um, definitely don't settle for less. Don't settle, period. Don't entertain men that don't want the same thing as you. Don't entertain men that are not supportive and that are haters. Don't bash men. Don't group all men in the same category. Don't be so independent when a man is trying to lead. Yes, we want independence and we're saying that we're an independent black woman. I'm an independent woman. I'm an independent strong woman who don't need no man. <laughs> don't do that with every man because some men really want to, you know, court you and date you and be nice to you also this is not the pull-up we're not doing the pull-ups in 2019 i don't want none of my butterfly beauties to do the pull-ups we're not doing the pull-ups 
this is you better get you some huggies you better hug me because we're not doing the pull-ups all i have for this day in the 2019 video if you guys liked it let's have a discussion in the comments let me know what's your dating stat do you agree with what i said do you disagree with what i said do you have some things you want to tweak and add let me know down below you guys know i'm always open to discussion and i do comment back as always you guys can shop butterfly blinks these i have on my eyes today is the style yara she's a wispy flirty girl and i am offering one-on-one broke entrepreneur webinar business sessions one-on-one that means me and you so giving you guys all the information you know for beginners to start your own business so if you're interested in that the link will be down below um, it's on my website as well um, my last webinar my group webinar went so well if you attended my webinar comment down below so i can see all you guys and the giveaway winner for my a thousand subscribers giveaway is the name will be right here at ds.dior congratulations to you i'm so happy and i thank all you guys for entering my giveaway there'll be plenty more giveaways to come you guys i just wanted to show my appreciation early you know before waiting until i get all the way when i get to a million um i just want to say thank you guys every step of the way i wouldn't be here without you guys you guys have got me so far so i'm gonna stop rambling you guys go but i as always i thank you guys for transforming with me um thank you for following me on this journey and i hope all you guys journeys are blessed as mine make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.